Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Ranka Lee extravaganza. So as you can see, I've got four more figures here to unbox. There's still quite a few more to go. I think there's gonna be another, I think, two more videos after this one. So as you can see, that one is kind of like out of the screen because, well, the boxes for these few are huge, especially this one. This is humongous. <laughs> so, um, if you can see the contents inside, I'm not too sure whether you can clearly see it. It's actually a chibi Ranka figure blown up to a gigantic portion. So, it is called the Deka, uh, Deka Kian, Kian, Kian Kira. I cannot read that Japanese text in this font. What is it called? Oh, Deka Kyun Kiara. Kiara. Kyun Kiara. <laughs> oh, yeah, whatever is it called. So, the Deka Kyun Kiara. So, yeah, it's humongous. But surprisingly enough, out of all of this, this is the most expensive. It's, it's like the tinier one, the tiniest one. But yeah, it's the most expensive because, well, it is, it is a figure arts zero uh, figure. So, this company by Tamashi, uh, this company Tamashi Nations, is well known for doing, um, I would say, high quality figures, but at, for a very expensive price. But okay, it's fine, it's all for the waifu. So, uh, <laughs> let's put this aside first. Uh, this will probably be the last one I'll open because this one is, well, how would say, the most, my favorite, my my utmost favorite um, costume for Ranka that is shown in the series itself. Um, the one that wasn't shown in the series that is my utmost favorite. Well, it was. I I, I opened up the figure in the last video, the the sexy lingerie one. Yeah, that was my utmost favorite design. Uh, that was not shown in the series itself. So <laughs> this tree here, um, okay, the price range for for all these figurines in this screen right now, um, I would say the price range ranges from 15 Singapore dollars to 30 Singapore dollars. So we're, we're getting to the more expensive ones uh, down the line. So overall, I think I've tossed in about um, almost six hundred dollars uh, of Ranka merchandise. Well, if we're talking about the figurines alone, uh, they did not go up to four hundred dollars, if I'm not wrong, um, because a lot of them were quite cheap, and only a few of them were actually expensive. So yeah, so my my budget or rather the amount that I've spent on the Ranka Lee figurines that you see before me um, they've not hit more than 500 Singapore dollars in total so um, that, that that's inclusive of shipping mind you so that, this is pretty fantastic so if I actually bought all this when they were first launched uh, it would probably have been like double or triple the amount I spend currently. So these are very old figurines. They are at least 10 years old or maybe lesser than that. Um, but yeah, it, it's come of age and people do not want them anymore. Uh, so probably the secondhand retailers have decided to sell them cheaper. And for fans like me who are late bloomers into the, uh, the collecting of merchandise because of financial issues back in the past when I was still a student, uh, for me, this is a wonderful thing, so it's, that's why I can bring this all to you guys in front, uh, in terms of in, for, in the form of a video, of an unboxing video. So uh, don't mind me, guys. It's kind of late. I'm actually recording this video uh, right after the the previous one that I've uploaded, so it's still around 2:30 a.m. in Singapore. So starting to drain me out so anyway guys let's let me finish this quickly and move on to the next set hopefully i'll still have a bit more energy by then so anyway let's start off with this one this one okay it's another costume that we do not see ranka um actually wear in the series um yeah so it is one of those costumes where it's a special illustration um for well, this one is for the first movie, uh, Itsuwari no uh, 
タヒメイソイヤ。So, it's another Ichiban Kuji price. Uh, which is probably out of make already because, well,、um, the last time they did remake、uh, this Ichiban Kuji figures was when they released the 30th anniversary premium Kuji, which, if I'm not wrong,、uh, this is not, this is actually the 2009. Uh, no, this is the copyright date, so don't scrap that. <laughs> the production date of this is probably around、uh, 2010, I don't know, 2009, 2010, maybe.、Uh, yeah, so the Premier Kuji was much later.、Uh, that was when they were celebrating the 30th anniversary of my cross. So, alright, l fast forwarding the video now. Okay, so finally, after much struggling,、uh, the figure itself, when you dissect the body because of the plastic,、um, it was kind of difficult to put it back because you had to put the upper body into the skirt first before、uh, attaching the lower half back into the body. So, yeah, that was a bit troublesome. And of course, As you can see here, Ranka is actually grasping something in her arms. So, what was that something? Well, it is this tiny icon, which is very cute. So, I'm gonna, gonna hug icon here somewhere. I don't know how do we do this.、Uh, I probably need to look at a box to see. <laughs> um, um, Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. <laughs> so, that, that's probably how it should be, I guess. So, here we go. Adorable icon with Ranka. So, this costume,、um, back when Macross Frontier was still showing on the TV series,、uh, even as a movie,、um, this costume was pretty well、um, cosplayed by a lot of the cosplayers back then、uh, because it was very simple to design. Uh, or rather, to make.、Um, you just need to look like look for cloth material that l o o k like tablecloth <laughs> and just make it into a skirt and a top. So, yeah. And back then, this design where、um, the top actually only、uh, covered one part of the shoulder, the other shoulder is bare. The, this was pretty popular back then. So, strange enough, my cross frontier actually started the trend of this. Uh, style of clothing,、uh, which later on caught on in real life itself. So,、uh, people who have not watched anime or did not know where the fashion came from, well, Macross Frontier did start something in the fashion line. So, yeah,、uh, good job, <laughs> uh, Kawamori, I think. No, but、uh, he's not the designer for、um, the character's fashion clothing. I don't know. So, the base is pretty awesome as well. It says they're happy、uh, with lots of hearts. I'm not too sure whether you can see. So, yeah, happy and lots of hearts. So, very nice figuring. The hat itself as well is very adorable.、Um, the quality of the figure, I would say, is pretty okay、um, because you can still see、um, they did some work with Oranka's stomach、uh, area. So, you can see there's like some toning, muscular toning. Oops, I couldn't drop. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome、uh, considering how much detail and they put in into the figure itself. And of course, the lace ribbon at the back of her neck. This is fle、uh, flexible、um, rubber plastic, I guess. So, yeah, good job on this as well. Uh, yeah, overall, this figure I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, after all, it is the Ichiban Kuji price. I'm trying to grab Aikun here. So, and <laughs> the main thing I really like is Aikun because Aikun is one of my utmost favorite、um, mascots in Macross. So, other than Aikun, there is、uh, Kululu, which is kind of, kind of strange.、Uh, I actually didn't really like Kululu's design up to the point. Uh, maybe three quarter way into Macross Delta, and I started to like kind of find Kululu a bit adorable. <laughs>、uh, so, yeah, it's kind of strange. I don't know.、Um, I'm not sure whether most people will probably find Icon weird, but 
I couldn't initially when it was first shown on TV. Um, it, he struck me as adorable and lovable straight away, unlike Q Lulu. Uh, Q, uh, Q Baba, Q Baba, oh my goodness, it's like a tongue twister. Q Baba, <laughs> actually, from Macross 7. Um, it's adorable. It is like a it is like an imitation Kuribu from Yu-Gi-Oh! But uh, if you look back, um, both series, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Macross 7, I guess were around the same time. So we won't really know who came up with the idea of the fur ball. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, hardcore anime fans, go do your research and tell me in the comments down below which came first. Uh, Kuribo or Kyubaba <laughs> uh, Guvaba or Kyubaba whichever one you want to pronounce it as yeah Guvaba so yeah anyway guys I'm gonna put this aside this is just the first figure and I've been blabbing away non-stop okay um I'm just I don't know here you go yeah, just gonna balance you here all right so moving on we have another Seikan Hiko costume for Ranka Lee um, this one this one is a bit more pricey uh, because of its quality I guess uh, or rather it has changeable hearts so I don't really think I would need the changeable hearts uh, and yes as you can see on the box this is a strippable figurine so you can actually strip Ranka of her entire clothing set and down to her undies uh, but I won't be doing that because mm, you know I don't want YouTube to like give me some kind of strike <laughs> so here we go guys unboxing the figure Okay, so that took a while because I had to remove all the plastic and eventually I had to strip Ranka down to undies, uh, unfortunately. But <laughs> okay, so this figure I love one thing is that the, the stand comes with Ranka's signature. So yeah, it says here Ranka and Ranka Lee. Alright, so the only thing I find it strange is that her face doesn't really look like Ranka. Uh, that's the only downside about this face. So other than that, everything looks pretty much accurate to the point. Even the, um, I would say the, the clothing parts can actually be moved so that you can remove them easily. Um, like the arms. Uh, yeah, so the arms are like um, dissected at this point where her, her, her shoulder straps are. So yeah, you can just pull them off and interchange them with the figuring parts that are inside this box as well. The other arms, this one has the Kira pose, the other one lets you hold the mic. Then of course we have the winking face for the Kira pose as well. So I'm just going to put this aside. Alright, so this is just the main figure itself um, without changing any of the parts. So overall, the quality of this one, sadly to say, isn't as fantastic as this one. This one even though it is cheaper than this figuring here um, this one yes the plus point is you can strip Ranka down to her undies but you know for me I'm 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 more concerned of the actual point uh, where she actually looks doesn't look like Ranka so um, that's that's the only disappointing factor for me other than that the costume wise and the coloring the paint job for the costume everything seems okay on a decent level um, it could have been better uh, considering its price range so this one if you are a fan of Ranka Lee uh, but are not a fan of low quality figures um, at a high price range this one you might want to pass um, I, I just went with this one because um, well it is a Ranka figure so I do not want to miss out any of the major um, collectibles out there so this is okay enough to be given a miss if you ever wish to purchase a Ranka Lee figuring um, yeah so if I were to rate this out of 5 and probably give this a 2 
other than that, other than the base, the base is pretty awesome though. But the figure wise, figuring itself is kind of disappointing in a way. So, anyways, uh, let's move on with the gigantic uh, Ranka Lee with, uh, yeah, her Nijiro Kuma Kuma costume. So, okay, this is huge. When I when I first got this, um, I I. I, I was expect I was expecting it to be humongous, but I did not expect it to be this big. All right, let's fast forward this. This is gonna take a while to open. Okay, so before I attach the figuring to the base, I'm gonna show you the designs of the base itself. This is actually very very cute, um, considering that. All these um, toys, animals, and uh, whatnot uh, are actually shown in the movie itself. So when Ranka does perform Nijiro Kuma Kuma, you get to see three D uh, holographic images of all these um, printed creatures and stuff. Be yeah. So like the small chibi versions, the stand does come with like a headrest because well, gigantic heads are heavy <laughs> and they cannot balance by themselves so I'm gonna hold Ranka like this because she does weigh quite a bit um, so loving the key you know even though it is a bit bent because of the the box but you know the, the quality and the detail of the figure is fantastic even for its size so like the vest yeah and the pants plus the keychain and the ladybug even though the ladybug isn't painted fully like the, there's no white spots on the, the ladybug's wings or the shell that's covering the wings um, but the figure overall is pretty much detailed even like the shoes they like have ribbons and all this even the hat and the uh, K Tycoon ghost <laughs> uh, yeah so the material for this is kind of sticky so if it's left under the heat for too long I guess uh, because it's like a rubbery balloon kind of texture uh, it is sticky so uh, just beware of it um, yeah that's pretty much all you have to take note of um, the face is well done just like a Nendroid uh, if you guys buy a good smile company Nendroids the quality of this is pretty much like a Nendroid it's fantastic so look at the back Loving the transparent ribbon, uh, iconic ribbon that Ranka always wears, but this time round it's a gigantic transparent pink ribbon. Um, yeah, and the coat. Look at the music notes at the end of the coat. That's just very adorable and good. Good job on the details, though. So yeah, even the wings and the, on the hat is fantastic. Look at that. So I'm very pleased with this purchase, um, even though it is not expensive. This one was actually pretty cheap because it was an Ichiban price. Um, so yeah, um, good thing for us collectors uh, of a later period. Um, yeah, so let's put it, put her into the base. She actually stands well. <laughs> My bit is like kind of like unleveled at certain points. Uh, yeah, the spring is like a bit wonky. So I probably get, should get a new mattress. <laughs> so yeah, even for her size and her weight, she balances very nicely as compared to the other slimmer and uh, well-designed figures. This one actually does stand well. <laughs> so alright, we're moving on to the last figure. Finally, the figure at zero, uh, Ranka Lee, uh, with the Sayonara no Tsubasa costume. Love the design of the costume. Let's see how the quality of this figure stands out. Right. Okay, so here's the funny thing. The camera ran out of battery and I had to continue after charging the camera for a little bit. Alright, so the figure itself, I love the base. Um, it comes with Ranka's signature and of course it's a bit translucent as well so that's pretty awesome um, the whole figure itself is one big gigantic piece of plastic um, no no dislocating of any joints or whatever the mic however is movable so do be careful 
uh, if the mic drops off uh, from her grip during the um, migration of the package uh, yeah so be careful not to lose the mic uh, I, I was lucky enough to notice that the mic was rolling around in the plastic casing uh, before opening it up so yeah so let's take a look at the figures quality itself the figure is very very well done I love the printing of her face the face the eye the wink everything all very very clear and detailed the crown on her head is very well detailed as well although I have to say the paint job can be better um, the face does do justice but the overall paint job for the figure is kind of lacking in a way um, the costume design is fantastic um, in terms that the skirt is kind of layered so you can see that it has different layers uh, but it's just still one gigantic piece of plastic altogether I love the ribbon at the back I love this transparent piece here I don't know what this is called and of course Ranka is not wearing her usual hair ribbon um, at the back but instead she has this gigantic transparent uh, veil I think whatever you call it but yeah overall the figure quality is I would say quite decent enough um, but it is quite an expensive figure so I would have expected them to do a bit of better job I love the stockings and the linings that they have done but you can see that this part here um, the paint job isn't that fantastic the part here the where the Zetai Ryoki begins so the stocking to the legs this portion here is kind of lacking in terms of quality painting the bangle is fantastic as well it is movable so it is rotatable as well so that makes the whole accessory kind of like a uh, to the pinpoint of accuracy so that it is actually a real accessory so yeah for, but for this surprisingly enough uh, I'm not sure whether it is a holographic uh, projection of Ranka's boobs <laughs> because her boobs here are bigger than what she initially has so even in Utah Cross when she wears the Sayonara no Tsubasa costume her boobs look bigger than normal so <laughs> anyway guys this is the last figure I'm not gonna talk about Ranka's boobs anymore I, I have been talking about it non-stop I think since the last video uh, I, I am a bit salty that well, the artists do change her boot size on their own um, not keeping her to the artist authentic authenticity of her actual figure um, so yeah anyways guys thank you much so much for watching as you can see I'm fumbling like crazy because it is currently now 3 20 <laughs> and I'm still awake uh, right after work some more <laughs> so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching if you like what you see in here especially for all the love for Ranka uh, do hit the subscribe button for more Ranka love and my cross love on my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video bye